First of all, just pushing in the clutch, it's a lot harder. <laughs> like, just to push down on that clutch there, it feels like a lot harder than the um, than the Type R. The Type R is just smoother. Everything about it is just smoother and like easy to get into gear and stuff like that. Some startup action there. So check out this, this manual gearbox, right? The look of it, the feel of it, it's amazing. It's one of the best manual gearboxes that you can get in the business. Change in three, two, one, let's go. Just puts the power down so well. Just that quick one two shift, man, and we were just out. Like, <laughs> yeah, this love, this hate, lies and games, faith. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to discuss which one of these two vehicles has the better manual gearbox. All right, now, they're, these are both uh, six speed ma uh, manual gearboxes. They both had the reverse in the same position. It's like down and over to the right and backwards. And they're very similar in a lot of regards, but one is actually better. So this video, I'm gonna kind of go into details and I'll show you guys why one is better than the other. And also go over some of the finer points of why you may prefer one gearbox over to the other, or one manual transmission altogether over the other, you know, clutch and, and you know, the shifter and everything all included, right? So in my opinion, one of the best manual transmissions that I've ever driven was in my, my old, my 2021 Camaro SS1 Elite. That's a Tremec. Uh, six speed and that manual gearbox is amazing one of the best right and and it can hold power it's very good but I would venture to say that one of these manual gearboxes is slightly even better than that may not be able I'm not I'm not sure it may not be able to hold the same level of power but as far as the way it feels and the confidence it inspires I think one of these is slightly better. So let's get into this. Well, before I get into this video, I wanna say, I wanna send a shout out to the whole MLC. That's 100 Gang Nate, Q to Chaotic, and Blueprint 1 Elite. And, and of course us, race car friends. So make sure to subscribe to all of our channels. You'll see us, you'll see like everybody featured in the featured part of YouTube if you scroll down there. You'll also find some other people that we work with like Papa Long Legs and uh, Will Motivation. So go subscribe to them too. But yeah, so here's, uh, my pick for which one of these has the manual gearbox i'll tell you that first then i'll explain why i believe that the subaru wrx has the better manual gearbox and i'll explain why right Let, let's go inside first the type r and i'll show you what makes the type r one of the best manual transmissions that you can get today but why the SD, the, sorry, not the SDI, the WRX is better. If I said SDI before, sorry, it's the, the Subaru WRX Limited. So let's go into this, right? All right, so with the, well, actually, let me, let me turn it on, give you guys some, uh, some startup action there. So, check out this this manual gearbox right the look of it the feel of it it's amazing it's one of the best manual gearboxes that you can get in the business but in my in my honest opinion the way it feels it's a little bit almost bmw-ish in a little way I, no i don't want to say bmw because it's not rubbery it just feels soft i don't know if that makes any sense to you but this might this might actually help you understand it a little bit better right so with the honda uh the honda civic type r as well as the acura integra type s both those transmissions is some of the easiest like to learn to drive with as far as like if you're if you've never driven a manual gearbox before it's kind of easy you know it's smooth it's way smoother i would say than the WRX and even my my Camaro SS1 Elite. It's way smoother. The the Camaro SS1 Elite is notchy and it and it feels it's a it feels like it can take a lot of power and it's a little bit harder to put in the gear compared to this. This is buttery smooth, right? So like even the the pedals, like the clutch when you push down, it's like it's 
not as hard as it is in either the WRX or the Camaro SS1 Elite. And these are all, all three of these are some of the best manual gear, gearboxes I've ever driven. I would say the Tremec in the Camaro SS1 Elite reminded me of a Porsche 911 that I drove. It was very similar, had a similar feel. This, the, the Honda one is different from any other one, like the Honda as well as the, um, the Acura Integra, they're very different from any other manual transmission, but I'll show you real quick. Like you got first, second, third, fourth. Oh, 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 see, didn't want to even go in there. I get, oh yeah, there's a lockout because the car's not going. So yeah, it, it won't let me put it in the fifth, but you can just see how buttery smooth this is, right? Very buttery smooth and then reverse is right there, right? Goes in there, buttery smooth. It's, it's smooth, easy to drive no complaints no 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 issues there now because it's so smooth and it's so easy it kind of takes away from the fun factor and it just doesn't feel like it feels like i'll have to upgrade upgrade the clutch very quickly in order to get this to be as good as what it feels in the super wrx now let's head over to let's head over to the super wrx and see what that one is like so let's go do that real quick all right, as we're hopping into the Subaru WRX, I'll explain to you why I feel like this one has the better manual gearbox. And just, you know, basically the better transmission altogether. But let's go ahead and get it started. First of all, just pushing in the clutch, it's a lot harder. <laughs> like, just to push down on that clutch there, it feels like a lot harder than the... Um, than the Type R. The Type R is just smoother. Everything about it is just smoother and like easy to get into gear and stuff like that. Um, with this one, it you can feel, it feels more rugged. It feels like it can take more power. And so I made sure when I ordered this this car, or when I, you know, I, I talked to my sales guy, John over there at Subaru of, uh, of Melbourne. Shout out to Subaru of Mel Melbourne. Shout out to John. Like they, that's, I bought this car through them. And I told him I was like my my prerequisites. What I wanted was all I all my, all I asked for. It had to have the STI short throw shifter, and it had to be a limited spec. And that's because I knew what I got with the limited spec. And I test drove a limited with the STI short throw shifter, and it felt amazing to me. So same the same thing as in with the the uh, Type R over there. The the gearing is pretty much in the same direction with reverse being over there. But look at the difference. Like when I push down at the clutch, it feels more heavy duty. It's like I need to use more, more leg muscle there. And it just feels firmer. It feels like a firmer gearbox when you put it in the gear. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then for reverse, bam. And that one didn't have the lockout. So that one let me go through like all the gears. And then, you know, you put it in the reverse. And yeah, it was just... It was just so much easier, easier to put it in a gear. Like I'll, I'll do like a little driving clip. I, I'm not gonna do it in both because it's harder to mount my GoPro and the Type R. But I'll do a driving. Uh, you know, I'll show you what it feels like to drive this. And then I don't know. Maybe if I have time, I'll do one with the Type R as well. But I'll show you what it feels like to drive this. So. I'll give you guys a short little, show you what it's like driving the Type R here. All right, let's see. Just taking it out of first. And when you're just doing simple, easy driving, like I said, it's smooth, no drama like just buttery smooth it's like buttery smooth and easy to to use actually no i'll do i'll just grow up here real quick and let me see I'll do, uh, there's people there so i don't want to do like a real pull but um another thing you so with this versus the the wrx you can actually like hold the gears a little bit longer, you know what I mean? Versus like with the WRX, you know, the, it's a little bit of a shorter throw, but like with this, you can like, you can 
really get down on it and the gears you can hold them a little bit longer versus the you know in the wrx so if you like kind of holding your gears longer making them you know like not not shifting often like you can you can hold your gears longer keep them longer in the rpms you know longer rpms type r is the way to go but yeah check this out so it's you know it's stock with stock it's obviously a faster car but it's smooth it's smooth and very predictable not not that much you know drama and i think over time it's not as much fun you know it's just not as much fun as in the in the wrx but i'm gonna take out the wrx and i'll show you what i mean when i say like it's just the more fun car the more fun driving experience the more the the more fun shifter so let, let's head out and i'll show you that in a little bit guys so as soon as the light change i'll give you guys a quick like I'll, I'll basically give you a quick review and show you what it's like going you know launching in first in this car like it's just so much fun so i'm already like i have it in first i'm just kind of balancing the clutch right now let's see if the light's gonna change okay now so they let the other people go so take it out of first because it's not good to leave your car like in first when you're at these lights better to keep it in neutral so I'll put it back in neutral. Gonna wait for this light to, for these people to stop going. And then I'll know it's time to get into first. And then I'll show you guys. All right, so back into first. And just gonna give it a little bit of juice. Wait for this light to change. Come on light, change in three, two, one, let's go. Just puts the power down so well. Just that quick one-two shift, man, and we were just out. Like, <laughs> man, like, it, it is a lot of fun to drive. Like, just so much, so much fun to drive. Let's, uh, let's go on a little highway run, and you'll see me roll through a couple more gears real quick, all right? All right, let's actually... So, taking this turn here, gonna take it in second. Hopefully this truck won't hit me, and we're out. It just feels so much better. It's a little bit notchier. It just feels a little bit firmer, a little bit sturdier, and it is more fun. And I don't know if it's because of the all-wheel drive where you can feel it just gripping and going. It's just, it's just a more fun experience driving the WRX than it is driving the Type R, but it depends on the situation because like if, if I'm driving in a city or I have, to, I have to do a lot of shifting and you know or or if I'm driving on a on a road course or something something where like I you know I get to turn make a lot of turns and stuff like that this is a lot more fun if I'm just doing a flat out drag race then I would actually say that the type R feels to be more fun plus it's faster in a drag race stock for stock so for drag racing purposes, I think the Type R has a slightly better uh, manual gearbox, but for every other form of driving, this is more fun and this is the better gearbox in, in my estimation. And as soon as I'm able to tune this car, because there's certain things that I don't like about how this car shifts when it comes to uh, drag racing. Like when I go to like um, to drag race and I'm like, uh, okay, first, and then, second like when you put it in a second like it gives like a little hiccup a little bit you know every time like it does it and i don't know why the type bar doesn't do that so if you're talking you know stock for stock drive uh drag drag racing type vehicle then i would say that the type r is better but 
that's that's my opinion i want you guys to comment below let me know what you think and yeah I'm, I'm i'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say about this which one you think has a better manual gearbox and with that race car friends out